Welcome back. Rudy Giuliani says uh, Donald Trump will likely apologize for the 2005 tape uh, where he's heard making crude comments about women. Trump himself is signaling he'll also try to focus attention on Bill Clinton's old sex scandals. Clinton supporter, Missouri Senator Claire McCaskill is joining us right now. Senator, thanks very much for joining us. Welcome to St. Louis. Yeah, we're I know this we're is, pleased to have you. This is your home, home state. It's a beautiful home state, beautiful campus. So let's talk a little bit about what Hillary Clinton should do. If Donald Trump comes back at her and says, look what your husband did. Look what you did in going after the women who accused him of these actions. Uh, if he does, how should she respond? What would you, be your advice to her? I, I, I think that she will clearly um, probably pivot away. It was um, a, probably a painful and, and moment in her life and one that was played out in the most public way imaginable. Um, I think that if you want to compare what she has done and how she has treated women in her life and lifted up women compared to how Donald Trump has lived his life, I think um, this will not get Donald Trump any more votes. Women of America are not going to go, oh, yeah, well, we're going to overlook your predatory behavior, Donald Trump, um, because you want to call out Hillary Clinton's husband. I just don't think that's a winning strategy, and I, I think it shows how what a weak position he's in right now. Well, what he's going to do, according to his aides, is he's not just going to go after Bill Clinton, but he's going to say, look how you, Hillary Clinton, reacted to those accusations, what you said about these women making these accusations. That's presumably his strategy. How does she deal with it? Well, I, I think she probably um, ignores him to a large extent if he wants to go there. I think she has serious things she wants to talk about that the American people really care about. Um, I, I, I think it's fine if he wants to try his third attempt at an apology on the subject of, of the tape. And now the other things we know he said in national radio programs that are so demeaning and predatory as From it relates Howard to women. Show you mean. Exactly. Um, and by the way, there's a long list of people waiting for an apology. Um, he has not apologized to the Gold Star family. He's not apologized to the judge that he called out as incompetent because of his heritage. He has not apologized to a long list. Apologies clearly are not something Donald Trump believes in, and I'm not sure he even believes in the ones that he is giving on this topic. I think he is doing it, but it doesn't look like to me that it's very heartfelt. Not if he's willing to immediately pivot and try to make Hillary Clinton responsible for Bill Clinton's behavior. You caused the big stir back in 2006 on Meet the Press, and you remember this well, when you said you wouldn't want your own daughter near Bill Clinton. Now, that was a strong statement you made at the time. I know you, you later said you expressed regret for saying that statement, but it's come back now in light of what's going on. Well, you know, it was a dumb thing to say. It was hurtful. It was gratuitous. I regretted it the minute it came out of my mouth, and I apologized immediately. Um, and not only publicly, but also to uh, the Clintons. And, you know, uh, I think people can say stupid things sometimes, but what Donald Trump has said in private and what Donald Trump has said in public, and the vast majority of which he doesn't even think anybody deserves an apology for, uh, I think that is a much different s situation than that. Another area where we know he's going to go tonight, the, the latest leak of these, uh, uh, of these, the, the hacking, if you will, the speeches she was delivering behind closed doors to big banks. At one point uh, in 2013, she's quoted as speaking to a Brazilian bank, which paid her a huge honorarium, that she uh, wanted eventually open trade and open borders, something very different than what she has been talking about on the campaign trail. She, he's going to accuse her of basically saying one thing in private to big bankers, another thing to voters. Well, first, um, this is a postmark from Russia. Uh, these are Russians trying to impact our election. Putin wants Donald Trump to win. And so I don't trust anything that comes with a Russian postmark from, Don, from, from Putin, because clearly he is Because you on, don't think she said this? I, I, let's assume that she did. In the context of that, though, she was talking about clean energy. She was talking about there being the same rules for everyone when it comes to carbon. Uh, she wasn't talking about border security. She's laid out a very serious plan for border security and comprehensive immigration reform. That's where Hillary Clinton is, both in public and private. The other thing she said that's caused uh, some concern out there, she said, you say one thing in private, another thing publicly, that's the way you get stuff done. You I heard, think I, That's I, according to this, th these leaked documents. Once again, I think if you look at it in context, I think what she's talking about is getting things done. You may have a public negotiating position and a private negotiating position, because to get to the suite 
sweet spot, especially in a divided government, uh, you don't always show your hand. I mean, listen, Donald Trump says he's going to, like, do everything just with negotiation, most of which is totally unrealistic, and he doesn't even understand how the Constitution works. But Hillary Clinton has gotten things done in Washington with a bipartisan effort, and she knows that sometimes you leverage with your public comments, and then you really get to work and trying to find the deal. That's what she was talking about. She wasn't talking about taking two sides of the same issue, which, by the way, Donald Trump is pretty good at. I think he changes his positions like most people change their shirts. All right, Senator McCaskill, thanks very much for coming. Thank you. Once again, thanks for welcoming us. You bet. We're glad this, to have you. This debate at this beautiful campus. Thanks. Senator Claire McCaskill joining us. Uh, so, uh, so many uh, questions uh, tonight. Do the candidates have the answers that the voters want to hear? It all comes down to strategy. We're going to talk about that much more right after a quick break.